Chat, here we go. We have got a two man's grudge match. Uh, Nuggets, a player who has been in the community uh, a long time, getting better and better and better at ones. Uh, plays through two mans and has made it to top 20 in the world, which means without counting, he's probably somewhere like top 10 in EU. Uh, today, he's going to be going up against a debuting player, Smashy. It seems like a buddy of his and another player who also plays in the uh, two mans Discord has made it to rank A. Has a winning record there, although not an immaculate record, not like Nuggets. Uh, and they have wanted to play each other on stream. So, we have let them go at it see who is the better player certainly you have to think chat is in favor of nugget uh, a little bit more experience under his belt not only in the ones leaderboard but also uh, in the show match scene so we'll see if smashy can bring any surprises right now 2-0 for nugget and chat about six times in favor of nugget in terms of the betting your grand champ too in OCE. I'm not really sure where the OCE, uh, you know, top ones begins because it makes sense for other regions as split up as OCE is to not really get players high on the leaderboard since they, they can't play against players high on the leaderboard. Um, but I'm not really sure like where the number one OCE guy is rated. I would I would guess that the number one OCE ones player is still in the top 100, but I could be wrong. Top 20 in EU is probably like top 20 worldwide. Okay. Okay. No, it's usually, usually it's about 50%. Um, th th like EU is about every other person. And then every other region is a little bit not as good as that. Why waste money on an away NRG decal? It's basically the same thing. Because it's mostly white. Um... No, I don't know. I didn't buy too many away decals. I did buy the Team Queso away decal. That one's nice. So these guys, uh, I checked Smashy's record on Two Mans. Two Mans, if you guys don't know, some of you might not. It's uh, it's my Discord. Originally my Discord just for the stream and stuff, but I created a bot that runs a Two Man server like Six Mans. Uh, so basically just 1v1 scrims, and there's a internal leaderboard as opposed to the kind of leaderboards you get in game. So anyways, both these guys play in that Discord, and I looked at Smashy's record. His most recent three games were all against Nugget and all of them losses. So Nugget definitely seems like he has the edge, not only in the other ways that a player can be rated in ones, but also in this matchup directly. He is, I, you know, I couldn't see the scores of those games. Those aren't reported, just whether he won or lost. Nugget won all three, farmed some points off Smashy. And now, ooh, a nice fake. Smashy's going to tie it up. Nugget throws out the no way. It's Hot Cheetos? Yeah, it is definitely Hot Cheetos. You got Quesos and BDS. I haven't looked through all of them very much. I did buy a bunch of esports tokens when the away decals got released. Uh, like, the fact they were existing got released. But I haven't... Uh, Gone back through and made sure I got all my favorite ones. I just got the Space Station one and the Queso one. Smashy up 4 3. Two minutes into this one. He's rocking the new. Uh, I thought he had Zombas on, but no, it's the Cristianos that are white. How do you get the Cristianos that are colored? Is there like a way to uh, to get them? Is it like drops? Uh, what is it? How do I, am I a boomer? What's going on? I haven't really looked for them. They come in the shop occasionally. Got it. Nugget, nice drill from the corner. To tie this up. Nugget is sticking with uh, the wagon wheels for his wheels. Luis P is two show, ma two show matches in a row that he's uh, not played the wagon wheels. Luis, or sorry, Nugget is not as fickle. He's going to stick with him. White Cristianos can be bought in the item shop, like right now, or uh, they just have been viable in the item shop in the past. Nice fast play off the wall. Yo, what's going on? 
IQ mains gameplay. Your name is so hard to read now. Remember, it was easier in the past. Wasn't it OSL Drift? Smashy has a lead here, proving his point against the top 20 rated player in the world. Nugget can't win the 50. I mean, Smashy will be in control. He's going to take it to the skies. Nice flip reset, and it seemed like he was thinking about 50-ing it, but too late, too far off the play. I get trying to be really aggressive, and although he doesn't get the first touch, he gets the second. So not punished here just yet. Smashy's going to leave tons of space. Now he can take whatever he wants. He's going to go to an on-card dribble. Just didn't really get the ball underneath him, or sorry, on top of him, I should say, fast enough. And Smashy was able to challenge before the dribble started, but I guess been playing really well out of this corner. So many times, players have a really tough time finding a way to get shots this deep in the corner with a shadow defender. Apparently not an issue for Nugget, who has been feasting anytime he has possession all the way down there. Nice save. Still with zero boost, or I should say, only what he can get from pads. Soft flick, it's gonna cost Smashy a good amount of boost to get the save, and he actually did a great job of holding on to as much as possible and getting that secondary save. I mean, there wasn't a lot of great ways to handle that. I think any other way that he does it probably results in a quick nugget goal. So I like him taking the risk and dropping it just inside the near post where Nugget felt like he had another shot opportunity. 5-5 five, five. in this game, number one, Smashy debuting. Can he take down his friend here? Trying to go for the double flip reset. Did not get those wheels on the ball after the first. Nugget has been lethal in the corner. Can he do it once again? He's got Smashy to jump off the wall. Couldn't connect on the demo. So now Smashy cutting back in front of his net. Nugget is such a high pressure defender though. He doesn't want to give you space ever. And it's in stark contrast to some of the games we've been watching before. Nugget will just stay on the ball, turn immediately force you to make a play and if you don't have nerves of steel you'll find yourself getting rid of the ball early a lot but smashy he's gonna take game number one he didn't win the three two man's games and he seemingly hasn't beaten nugget in recent memory but uh nugget will get a zero one not lead why am i talking about nugget it'll be smashy smashy has a one zero lead nugget will be forced to come back Nugget versus Smashy. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen Nugget spell his name willingly with the Q's, like on Steam. So maybe he always wants to be with the Q's. And I've just been incorrectly uh, switching it to G's. Oh, it's fine with the G's. <laughs> Nugget just throws it out in chat. See, I, I always assumed that on all these platforms, he couldn't get the name with the Gs. So that's why he had the Qs. But Steam, you can make your name whatever you want. And he has made it with the Qs still. Game number one in favor of the brand new debuting player. Takes it in overtime as an early lead. Here he has a G in the Discord. Yeah, there you go. More examples of the G being okay. That's a great save. <laughs> Nugget just drops the controller because not much you could do. Smashy! I love it! Force him to come all the way back. He's going to, though. Smashy goes up 1-0. Because he did that, though, we don't get to see the replay. It's a really, really good 50. Luis P level? I don't know. A little bit too early to say. Luis P has been a monster with... Uh, the late 50s in front of his net and making sure they somehow do not go in. Smashy. Oh my goodness, that's a great shot. A really soft, musty, so he could stick with it. And then got another flip reset, but ultimately, Nugget plays solid defense. And then 
is able to kind of box Smashy off the ball. You see, threatening the demo. So Smashy had to jump and, and get his touch while airborne. Was not able to stop Nugget taking it away. This should be a second goal. Smashy just greedy. He needed to realize he had already lost in this race to uh, the midfield boost. Like that side flip. I don't know what he thought was happening there with that side flip. Whether he thought he was touching the ball or bumping Nugget or what. But he just put himself farther out of position. Nugget taking the ball off the volley for the shot. Maybe sacrificing a bit of power, but wanted to get it on the net quicker. Smashing able to get the save. The ball in a bit of a uh, clockwise rotation around the map right now. This happens a lot in ones. Is Nugget finally going to stop it by cutting this ball back in field? No, Smashing continues the clockwise rotation. Sometimes the clock just too strong. There we go. Finally broken. Nugget cuts it directly back to net. Air dribble bump. Smashy coming from the top of the net. He gets the save. Smashy has been living up to the hype that chat so uh, heavily put on him. Saying he's more than capable of taking down a top 20 player. Well, that was a very nice save. And now he's got game number two even against Nugget. Smashy, not able to maintain possession of the sidewall. Nugget takes it away, looking for an exotic shot from the midfield. He's going to score it on the fake. He was going to have such a hard time scoring it regularly. I think Smashy could have gotten away with not coming to challenge, but man, no, it does look like Nugget perfectly set it up. How can you not expect Nugget to use the flip? Do you only do top 100s? Uh, Basically, whenever somebody asks me who I haven't seen play in tournaments or, or any sort of you know setting, uh, you know what do I need to do to potentially get featured? I usually just say I check the ones leaderboard. You know the ones leaderboard is where I look for players. So if you're in the top 100, um, then you're likely to be uh, able to take some players down. You know, it's truly a completely unbiased source, uh, unless you paid someone to play in your account to get your name up you know there's no there's no weird situation that can happen where you get to the top 100 and you didn't deserve it so it's just a nice very neutral um you know way of gauging but every once in a while nice shot from nugget every once in a while there's players who uh who definitely surpass i don't know if, i'm trying to think of the word who, who are able to be top players without being in the top 100 leaderboard for example crr uh, CRR has obviously proven that he can be a top player despite not currently being in the one leaderboard. Um, and usually that's the way it goes. Usually a player like, gets to the top 100 and then you know starts playing ones and show matches or tournaments or something and then stops playing it and doesn't go on the leaderboard anymore, but still you know they're good. It's not often that players just come completely out of nowhere uh, without grinding their ones rank up ever usually that'll happen with pro players that you obviously know are, are good and they're like top 100 in every other leaderboard but ones so it's not unreasonable to expect them to be there and it sounds like it's the same case with smashy smashy eventually told us that he has been top 40 before uh, so if you're going to put up a game like game number one or, or this game against nugget you probably have been top 100 uh, whether you're there right now or not shot. Nugget 6-3. Showing why he had the edge in the two man's games they played before. CRR is an RLCS player. Yeah, I mean, he has lots of evidence um, you know, why he should play. Honestly, it's a tough time, man. You know, I, I, it's, not, it's not that bad. I don't want anybody to weep for me. But, you know, you want, you want to get good games. You want to let people who want to play, play. You know, you don't want to just tell everybody no. At the same time, you have kind of like a duty to find as good of possible games as you can for the people who have decided to watch 
your stream, and that's what they come to expect. So it's tough. You, know, you don't want to just tell people no, uh, but you also can't just tell everyone yes. But I don't know. We've done an okay job, I would say, of finding a nice balance. Nugget with a seventh. That's why top 100 is so nice. It's, it's not really a judgment call, right? There, there's there's no question to it. It's like, are you in the top 100? Yes. I mean, no one can say yes or no either way. It's not a human decision. It's just you are top 100. That's what's so nice um, about just using that as a gauge. Great bounce dribble off the ground. Chat, everybody's saying hi. Make sure you say hi if you're here. Nugget showing uh, the advantage we kind of expected to see out of him here in this game number two. A 7-3 win, solidly in favor of Nugget. We'll see if Smashy can find what he found in game number one again as uh, we move on. Wait, Dimpe, are you the are you the Mike who says hi on the YouTube? Or is Mike Lenz the guy? There's a guy who says hi every single every single video. Every single video he logs on says hi. Uh, the only time I got him to not do it was, I think, the Hot Cheeto. <laughs> the Hot Cheeto video. I, I made some joke about the Hot Cheetos for Team Queso. And I think he just, he said what on that one. <laughs> he just said what instead of hi. <laughs> Wait, it's Dimpe? <laughs> Game number three. Nugget versus Smashy. Nugget has been rocking that FaZe Clan Fennec. The past couple show matches we've had him on. Big FaZe Clan fan. Chat, did you guys see all the talk about uh, the esports salaries recently? There's something I didn't really know. It's kind of I found it very interesting. I had no idea what any kind of player in any organization or any caster or anybody was making in esports. Um... You know, I had a general idea what people probably make from their YouTubes and their Twitch, because I have a YouTube and I have a Twitch. So I can get a decent gauge. Uh, but it sounds like, if you guys haven't heard, that the North American pros uh, are way better paid than the EU pros. Sounds like the money in esports is in North America, which is something I did not know. Um, but... Nugget. Nugget is part of the problem, chat. Here he is, an EU player wearing a North American's decal. Nugget, a doomsy man. He continues to absolutely feast in the corner. If he gets possession in the corner, he's finding a way to score. Nugget, are we going to see the full field dribble? Setups like that, you know chat wants to. Caught it with the wave dash, just lost it there. Smashy for the design is bad. He usually has way better designs. You guys don't like Smashy's Octane? Smashy's long shot to the back wall. It's going to lead to an instant possession for Nugget. Nice touch. To not tap this over the net is actually something tough to do. Smashy had a pretty good challenge. Oh man, he pulled off of the challenge too. He, he thought he was going too fast. You can see he didn't boost all the way through it. Might want to change the title. Do we have any mods here? I feel like chat is normally almost all mods. All of a sudden we have none. Uh, Nugget with a third. All right, I'll change the title real quick. I'll do everything myself. Nugget versus Smashy. And the names aren't even capitalized. Nugget. Is breezy stopped out. Smashy gets second. 
Rest in peace, mods. Yeah, dude. What happened to all the mods? Again, has had some clean catches. This is a really good flick. Smashy, one save, but can't get a second. I don't think he had the boost. He actually did have more boost than I expected him to have. But probably needed to just keep his momentum. See, he kind of hit the brakes right here. Only way he's getting a save is if he just comes out of there really fast and just tries to dunk uh, the shot from Nugget, which means he might go flying by. You know, He might look like an idiot and just go sending himself soaring above a shot that didn't really come. But I had no choice but to try it because otherwise Nugget is just going to do what he did. Score easily over the top. Will there be show matches for younger players still? Yeah, I think so. These show matches are totally fine. In fact, I think we've had some 14-year-old players since then, some under 15-year-olds. Uh, I think what might be in trouble is next gen. I haven't really decided what I want to do about that. I was hoping to do a, a next gen tournament in the coming weeks, but of course the news uh, basically explicitly disallows tournaments like next gen. So I don't know how we can make that not uh, be a problem. I don't know if doing trying to do no prize pool, if they'd be willing to do that. I don't know if the players would even want to do a no prize pool game. Not sure if they only want to play if there is a prize pool. Uh, in which case, I don't know. I'm not really sure how to get around it. What's this news? Uh, you can go check out the exclamation point fear plus YouTube channel where I talk about it a little bit in a video. Uh, but the news is basically that the 15 year old age minimum has been extended to all tournaments. So you can't, not just RLCS, uh, 15 year old or under 15 year old players are not allowed to play in any tournament. There's got to be some loopholes. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Smashy, ooh, Nugget must have been trying to get a bump. Didn't connect on it. Smashy within one here. Smashy, good kickoff possession. Quick touch. To make sure Nugget is forced into defense right away. Cannot pick up any boost, but you know, Nugget just got that crucial save. When you're on defense, all you're trying to do is clear the ball enough past the offender that they have to turn around. What a shot, man. We watched the whole thing from Nugget's perspective. But as soon as you get it over the top of them, and that's it. That's all that matters. So if the offender does a good job of, of staying out away from the net, they can make it very, very hard to get the clear over the top of them, but you know, Smashy did not do that. He came in pretty deep. He made it fairly easy for Nugget to tap it over him, which meant he could not hold on to his possession. Oh my goodness, he flicked this one to the moon. He is going to try and score it. The flip reset. Oh no, Smashy about to come away with a clip. If he could have gotten the touch off the flip, but he did not. And instead, Nugget gets a 7 and goes up 7-4. Why though? I'm assuming you're asking why the, the under 15 year old players can't play. To which, I don't know if Psyonix has ever s explicitly said why they picked 15. Um, you haven't heard of these players. Nugget is top 20. Top 20 in the world. Probably like top 10 in EU in the leaderboard. And Smashy is a guy who plays in our two man server. Exclamation point two mans if you want to go grind some ones there. This is a great uh, offensive play. Whether Smashy deserves to be highly rated or not, this is exactly the kind of play we're seeing from lots of top players right now, where you grab the flip reset and therefore protect the ball. The defender feels like they can't challenge because you never know when that flip's going to be used. And then you use that protection as a uh, excuse to get a second bounce and a second play that now the defender is reacting way too late to. He just shoots it high, scores in the top shelf. A very nice play from Smashy. Needs a couple more. I'll get a nice bump, but he actually bumped himself in the process too. It might not matter though. Oh, he missed crossbar and out. Will the backflip save the day? No, in fact, it's so light that he is getting himself scored on. A little bit too much greed from Nugget. Leave Smashy with an opportunity. It forces your opponent to respect the shot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it forces, uh, it forces that defender to not turn because at any point if you turn uh, the flip will just get used and it'll get tapped above you so you usually have to sit and wait and react 
even though a dribble like that, you know, without the flip reset is really bad. I mean, a dribble that far away from the net, no flip reset, very easy to challenge, very little risk. Uh, but the game has changed since the time of the air dribble without a flip reset in it. Smashy is going to have a tough time getting this back on. He's going to need two. He got two, but he flicked it too high. Wow. Smashy has shown signs. I'll tell you that much. I don't know how he got so much power off of that double flip reset. Yeah, it went to the moon. I agree. You know, that's usually not the worry. In a spot like he was in, you're not thinking, I, I don't want to get two flips because I might make it too high. It seems like you're thinking, I need to get two flips because otherwise it's not going to get anywhere close. Nugget's going to let Smashy have one more. But game number three, going to go to Nugget as well. Smashy takes game one in overtime. The next two are in favor of the top 20 player. So we head to game number four. Uh, game three. We're headed to game four. Did I hit okay? Yeah, I didn't. Um, nugget. Wait, Smashy's top two drop shot? Did you just say Smashy is top two drop shot? We've actually had... Uh, a number one rated drop shot player on before. But he's also top 100 hoops. So he's an extra mode grinder. Is that what we're learning? Um, we've had a North American rank one drop shot player. He actually played really well as well. I think he only played one regular one show match though. Smashy the early lead. He has five MMR from top one in drop shot. Well, Smashy, you gotta let me know if, if you have a set of drop shot buddies. I'd be down to run a, uh, like a rank one drop shot game. You know, wouldn't that be interesting chat? The top six drop shotters all against each other or, or even better, even better. We get a pro team and we have them play the top three drop shotters. That, I think, is what everybody wants to see. Of course, in drop shot. He played against Smashy the drop shot tourney with like two friends of his. Everything I say is interesting. Well, no, there's no way. There's no way. I say non-interesting stuff all the time. Uh, but yeah, I think that'd be fun. Uh, if Smashy truly is a top two drop shotter, then uh, I would be down to try and set that up. Get a pro team to play against Smashy and his two most trusted top drop shotters. Smash you with the third, man. He wants to force a game five here against Nugget. Great catch on the wall. Great dribble. Really quick. I mean, it's just good recognition, right? Nugget is trying to pressure in the corner. He, he's diving underneath to uh, make an early play. And Smashy recognizes that. And he plays as fast as possible in, in uh, an air dribble. You know, he's using his flip early. He is not trying to get a flip reset. He's just constantly getting touches with the nose of his car to rush it into supersonic and into the net. Just good recognition what the defender's doing. Smashy is 1388 in drop shot. I, I have no idea what the high rank in drop shot is though. I only really know, I only really know ones. Ones and, and kind of a little bit of twos and threes. If you give me an MMR, I could give you what rank they are. But I definitely could not do that in any extra mode. I have no idea how. You can tell me rank one is 900 MMR. I'd be like, oh, really? Okay. I guess there's not a lot of players. Nugget. Trying to shoot for the bottom corner, and he found it. Wow, I didn't think he was going to be able to get there. Off the kickoff. Picks up the 100. Smashy. I can barely blame him for thinking he had time. Oh, yeah, he played about as fast as he possibly could. He, he fell off of the inside of the post, but I think it almost helped him get there a little bit faster and use his flip. Smashy losing his possession. 
seems, although he might have found a way to get it back. That would have been a crazy read if he had free jumped that angle. Uh, Nugget is just a high pressure defender. He wants to bring the game to you or to himself. Does not want to let you bring it to him. Gets himself a third, ties the game. What are their ranks? Uh, I feel like I've mentioned it too many times now, but Nugget, top 20 in the world. Smashy, who knows? All we know is he's gotten a game off of the top 20 player in the world, and he is currently even against the top 20 player in the world. Nugget. Looking for a quick dribble. Whether he wanted to uh, have it be quick or not, ball was falling off the front of his car, so he had no choice but to try and just speed it over the top. Smashy. Gonna take the lead. Zero boost, not backing off this play. Just meets the wall at the perfect time. The ball just barely coming off. Easy to slam a power shot. It's just like slamming a power shot from the ground directly off the bounce. Except in this case, it's a wall and Nugget. This save attempt just gives it even more speed. So 4-3, nice fake. This should be a tie game. Is next gen open quals? Uh, no. So if whenever I've run next gen in the past, it's all invite, uh, for a few reasons, and probably one of the biggest reasons is the fact that I can't verify anybody's age. So if I do open quals, for all I know, 19-year-olds could sign up, and you know that's against the point. So usually the next gen guys who have a chance at winning the tournament are all pretty well known, and uh, you could just put them all in a tournament. Yeah, invite. So yeah, I do, I do next gen by invite usually. And in the future, will I do, be able to do next gen at all? I don't know, maybe not. And maybe we'll have to look back at the time when next gen could be run as a fun, uh, but now completely over tournament we used to run. Maybe we just have to make it no prize pool. I don't know. But these guys are so good. I mean, these one players are so, so good. They're playing for prize pools all the time. Or at least they were playing for prize pools all the time. I guess maybe they can't now. Uh, but when they were, you know, I can't see them getting too excited about a non-prize pool tournament. Smash is dominating some kickups right now. They give himself a two-goal lead with tons and tons of time on the clock. Just a better wave dash kickoff than Nugget. Oh, he's going to do it again. He could definitely do it again if he gets the right amount of power on this. Maybe the bounce is too high or way too long. Nugget, he lost his dribble once again off the top of his car. I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, but his past few dribbles, even in the air, just kind of losing them. Forcing to make a uh, either quick play on the air dribble or a low 50 play. Gotta keep those options available as long as possible. That was a nutty shot from Smashy. Ooh, Nugget, nice play, good read. Smashy coming in for the early challenge. So he gets a fairly basic front flip Lick. But it doesn't matter what you do as long as you time that challenge well. You're going to get to $1,000 to fear if Nugget wins. He's not going to win. Wait, of course Nugget's going to win. You know Nugget a little bit? He's fine, also a cool guy. No, I mean, Nugget's not necessarily going to win. Smashy is actually uh, doing a great job. I don't know why I say that Nugget is for sure going to win. Smashy's been playing great. Nugget. Just saved that about as soft as you possibly can. Took it from directly under the top bar to just right into the top bar. I get another dribble into a catch. The flick isn't fast enough to get past Smashy, and he needs to get past Smashy right now. 30 seconds, and the one goal lead is now going away because this one's crossbarring in instead of crossbarring out. 7-7. Seven, seven. Nugget does not want to see a game five. Smashy himself said Nugget's probably better. But Nugget also thinks he's better than Smashy. Yeah, these guys seem like they're friends. Uh, but this has been a good series. This has been a really good series. Smashy just played really, really well. Um, so, 
I don't mind running a series like this. Nuggets, 8-7. Clutching it up in the final moments. Getting the first possession and never relinquishing control, not until he eventually scores. Bit of a mistake from Smashy on defense. He's gonna need to clutch up as well. 11 seconds is more than enough time. Oh, that's that's the opposite. It's the opposite of clutching up. And Smashy's gonna throw the my bad. He wanted to fake the kickoff in the final moments to get himself a possession. But I mean, Nugget didn't even, Nugget arguably fell for the kickoff. He arguably fell for the, uh, the fake kickoff. That's exactly what he would have done whether it was a fake or not. So, not sure what Smashy was planning. He's gonna do another fake kickoff. Nugget's gonna punish it yet again. Oh, that's a great save. But it's too little too late. Needed to be slamming in a direct goal. Nugget will win. 3-1. to one. Smashy taking a game. This is a pretty impressive dribble. But the rank 20 player in the world gets the match. GG's. GG's chat. Those were GG's. Notch it up in a column. Uh... In a chat, picked a good match. VIP coin flip. Anno TPS. Everybody loves a good VIP coin flip. Smashy, consider quitting. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. These guys are friends. Um, Smashy's bad now. WTF, you've never seen this? You've never seen what? Rocket League? A 1v1? What are you supposed to do about your mortgage payment now? Yeah, Smashy should quit. You wish you were as bad as Smashy? Yeah, true, Cutting Campbell, true. Cutting Campbell, I don't know if I'm ever forgive you. Editing that YouTube video, 